Morning Outcasts and today we are at Drayton Reservoir. Drayton Reservoir. In Daventry, Northampton. Just waiting for the gates to open. Um, we'll be in there soon. See how we get on today. Try and get some fish out. Peace! So today, as Adam says, we're at Drayton Reservoir. Um, not size reservoir, to be honest, good head of fish. £12 a day, can't really moan. Car's just parked there. A bit of traffic noise, bit of putting, but if we can drown that out, we'll be alright. Still a few showing, um, so hopefully we can get a couple on the uh, eggs today. Get the first fish out of the way, and then uh, we're on for the year, hopefully. A few good line up um, coming up. We're going to Paviot's, Charlie's, uh, Box Hill. We, we've got quite a few lined up and booked. Um, hopefully, we can get some fish before then and start getting some good content for you. So, until then, tight lines, wet nets. <music> Just a quick update about the spin round. I uh, said because there's not many on, we can fish three rods. So I've got one on a zig, one on a solid PVA bag, and one on a uh, slip D with a pop up. Adam's got one on a zig, one on a Ronnie, and one on a multi. Uh, again, about fishing about 10 foot deep on the zig, see how that does. Um, but as yet, I've had nothing. But then again, no one has. Fish are there, they're showing, but they're just not coming out at the minute. But we'll keep plugging away and uh, we'll get back to you. So, once again, another update. We've got about um, two hours left and still nothing. Uh, 
sun's out, it's warmed up a little bit, then it gets a little bit colder. Air pressure ain't changed, still over a thousand, I think it's about a thousand and ten, uh, thousand and twelve. Tactics, we're still using the same as we was before. Got bait out there. Uh, just ain't happening today, um, as yet. On the plus side, it ain't happening for now, so it's nothing we're doing wrong particularly, it's just not happening. So, we'll keep going until the end. Hopefully we'll get one. Either one of us will get one. Both of us. Anything. Just need to try and get a fish on the bank because it's getting a little bit silly now. until the end. Right then guys, a uh, bit of an outro, uh, we're on our way back, um, gates, we was told the gates were shutting at 5 tonight, um, something to do with the bailiff going to France or something tomorrow, so yeah, gates usually down close at about half 7, 8 o'clock, maybe a little bit later I think in the summer, um, but as it was, it was unsuccessful for a, a reservoir which is predominantly well stocked. There wasn't uh, a lot of action at all going on. Um, fish out on the other side. Yeah, that was about it. And one guy, like I say, one guy said he'd had two fish in 24 hours, and that was like night bites. So, would I go there again? Me personally, I don't think I would. Um, there's another reservoir just around the corner, Boddington's. Um, I prefer that one. Um, but we've tried. And what do you reckon, Ian? Would you go again? I'd, that's a push. If there's nowhere else to go, then yeah, I'd, I'd go. But it's not somewhere I'd say, oh, I'd love to go there again, because I wouldn't. Is it better in the summer? We don't know, possibly. It did seem to be coming a little bit to life round right about now. I had a bite, uh, well, backdrop, and uh, missed it. But... If it's a day ticket and it's come to life at this time of day, it's no good for for day ticket life, really. No. Uh, so yeah, like I say, I mean, we have heard people saying that it is better in the summer, but also on the flip side of that, it does get really busy in the summer. Um, so if you are planning on a summer trip there, I'd look at probably booking a 24-hour visit a rather than just uh, a day, day ticket, because there's a lot of pegs. And if you can get as busy as what people say, you're going to struggle, even if you get there early. Um, so, yeah, it was still nice to get out on the bank, um, regardless of uh, not catching. But uh, we've got Paviots in four weeks tomorrow. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of footage on that one because... Uh, we're there for three days. We're there for three days and there's electric in the pegs and stuff like that, so really looking forward to that one we was hoping to get a couple of fish now just to uh, wet our appetite but I think it just makes us a little bit more hungry do you reckon I do yeah um, we're gonna be fully prepared for this one um, we've got all the bait and stuff like that ready um, it's just a case of getting rods and all that set up properly and then uh, off we go um, whether we go out before that um, I'm unsure <laughs> Um, it's having time with work commitments and stuff like that I mean I've still got my syndicate I can fish and Ian can always pop down with me so but uh, yeah 
nice to be out on the bank again. Um, just a bit we didn't catch. But onwards and upwards, tight lines, wet nets. Wet nets. Peace!